So they say the first 100,000 is the toughest to make. Charlie Munger said it best when he said it's a bitch to earn, but you have to do it. First 100K is the toughest to earn, but most crucial to building wealth. So most people know why it's so tough to achieve because it's a large amount of money. It will take time. Now I'm gonna go over three things that really helped me achieve that goal. The reason why it's a tough goal is because you need to start early. And most people, when they're young, they don't really focus on retirement, but that's what you need to do in order to get there quickly without having to invest as much money. Another reason why it's such a powerful goal is that if you have things you want to achieve in life, if you know you have this money set aside, you're gonna be more comfortable making these choices. You're not gonna be focused so much on financial choices. You're gonna be more focused on what you might desire to do instead. So due to compounding, a lot of investors want to achieve this goal because they'll notice that once they achieve this amount, that's when their investments really take off. Now, looking back, I wish I would have started much earlier, but I'm happy that finally in my early 40s, I have achieved this goal. So I'm going to share with you guys next what I did to help speed things up for me, as well as what will help you get there more quickly. So the first thing I did was trying to figure out how I can put as much money aside as possible. So if you're in a higher taxable income, what you can do is if you in Canada uh, invest in RRSPs, so retirement savings plan, you can reduce your taxable income. So I'm going to give you guys an example. So I'm currently on Wealth Simple's tax calculator. So this is a calculator Canadians can use in order to determine how much income tax they'll be paying. So I'm gonna use the example of being in the province of Ontario. And with the employment income, I'm just gonna use this example, 150,000. So you're gonna see that the amount of taxes you'll have paid in 2023 is $47,461. So you're going to put this in the bottom income taxes paid. Let's say this year you decide you want to invest $30,000 in our RSPs. The RSP deduction, you're gonna put 30,000. So in this calculation, you're going to see that you will be getting a total refund of $17,779. Now let's say that next year you wanna do the same thing. Let's say next year you're gonna make 150,000 and you wanna invest $30,000 in RSPs, plus you're gonna invest also the $17,000 you're gonna get as a refund. So I'm just gonna round it to 47,000 total. So you're going to invest 30,000 plus the $17,000 you got as a refund. So then what will happen is the following year, instead of a refund of 17,000, you're going to be getting a refund of $24,854. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna add up all three. So all three, so 30,000 the first year, 30,000 the second year, plus $17,000 refund. And then the third year, you're getting a refund of 24,000. So if you add all of those amounts up, you will have $101,000. So in this example, you can see that in as little as a couple years, if you make that much money, if you can save that much money, that's not gonna be for the average person. I can see this, but it just shows you, you can invest only $60,000 of your own money. And in the end with your returns, you're gonna get $101,000 in your bank account. So you need to take advantage of those tax benefits. So you may tell me, okay, Suzanne, well, I don't have enough money. I don't have $30,000 to put aside every year. And that's okay. Most people won't be able to get that. And, and it took me much longer than two years. But the first thing you need to do is start now. Because in my previous video, I showed how just investing $20 a month can get you to a million dollars if you put it in there long enough. So the sooner you start, the better. 20 bucks, that's it. So what I would suggest is just looking at your finances, see how much you're paying every month, where your money is going, go to your local bank and see where you can maybe consolidate some debt, lower your interest. I know interest rates are crazy right now. Basically, just reassess all your finances, see where you can free up some cash flow. Don't strap yourself, don't invest it all, but at least come up with a plan and start putting money aside. 
Now, the second thing you'll want to figure out is where you want to put your money. Now, you can go to the bank and there, there will be financial advisors there. So if you're not interested in really managing your own money and you don't have a desire to learn more about the markets and investing, you can go to a financial advisor and they will help invest your money for you. They'll most likely give you a combination of different mutual funds or GICs. They'll determine what your time frame is. They'll ask you what your time frame is so they can put you in the most comfortable investment for you. And if you prefer doing it on your own, like I talked about in many of my other videos, you can invest in a self-directed trading account. Most people, if they are investing for the long term, will invest in equity funds. Equity funds can be mutual funds or they can be ETFs. So those are the most common ones. And the last thing I would do is just set up an automatic pre-authorized payment plan. So just set it up so that every month you have the same amount consist consistently going into that account. I have a hard time saying that. So consistently going into that account because if you have that automatic deposit, you're not going to think about it. It's just going to go in there. It's going to invest itself. You don't even have to look at the account. If you're investing it for the long term over 10 years or more, don't even look at the account. Just make sure it goes in there automatically every month. Let it grow. Um, if you are investing with a financial advisor, they will most likely have you come in maybe every year. You can go in to see them every year, see how your, your funds are performing. Or if you're going to do it on your own, then maybe check up on it maybe once a year just to see how it's going. But again, the goal is just to start investing every month and you will be very glad that you did. So let me know in the comments below if this has helped you, if you have any questions, and I would love to hear your guys' story. So make sure to comment. So again, my name is Suzanne, aka Trade Babe, and I hope you guys got a ton of value from this video. So make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. And thanks again for watching. See you guys next time.